Certainly one of the few teams in the club competition at the moment which would have much chance of beating the Mount Albert team in the form they're in at the moment. For Mount Albert, Peter Kelly is the fullback. Mark Bourneville and Chris Smitter are the wings. Went the other way. So Mount Albert get the first penalty of the match against Manukau and it'll be taken by Glenn Townsend. He's five metres outside his 22 and he'll kick straight towards us and it will almost come into the box. Well, Des White warned me about that. But it just missed us, and so it is out five metres inside the half of Manukau. Mount Albert launching on to attack then. Moving it quickly, Tapa Iastini gets his hand to it. They play the ball, Mount Albert. Back it comes to Dominic Clark. He makes a couple of metres before he's put down by two Thompson and going underneath is Tracy McGregor. Lindsay Hooker in a dummy half, throws it out to McLennan. On it goes to uh, John Ackland. But Ackland again only makes a couple of metres. Midway, 22 and halfway in Manukau territory. Mount Albert on attack, switching it on this side, their right. The short side, a little kick put through by uh, Brian McLennan. The ball bouncing inside the 22 of Manukau, and it's a scramble for the ball as it's loose. A couple of players diving on it. There must have been a knock on, I think, and the referee, Kevin Bailey, says we'll have the scrum. Half a metre inside the quarter line of Manukau, and 10 metres from this touch, the grandstand touch, that is Manukau's left hand touch. McLennan into the scrum and immediately a scrum penalty against McLennan for putting the ball in straight under his hooker's feet. The second penalty of the match, one each now, with Nicky Wright coming up to take the kick for touch. He's a metre inside his quarter line, ten metres in from this touch. Nice, long, spiralling kick by Nick Wright, which is out right on the halfway line. The tap will be taken by Wayne Thompson. Back it goes to uh, McGregor. The ball slipped on to, to uh, Dirk McGregor. McGregor gets just inside the half. Tracy McGregor coming up at dummy half for the play the ball. Throws it on to Sonny Reffa. He charges straight into the tackle, but he's well held by Tafa Iastini. Manukau moving it on the short side. Back it goes to Clayton Friend. On it goes to a man wearing number 16. I'll have to pick up who he is in a moment. Looks like perhaps a replacement, or oh, I know it's Toa Papulii wearing 16 in from standoff. So he's got 16 on with his arms strapped. Manukau with possession, out to Clayton Friend. On it goes to Ian Bell. Bell slips it on to Terry Ra, where he almost threw the gap, but he's caught out there with uh, McLennan going in underneath. They're 10 metres inside the of Mount Albert half of Manukau, and back it comes to Ian Bell from the play the ball, and he puts a long kick downfield, which bounces into touch 8 metres inside the 22 of Mount Albert. So the scrum to go down, midway 22 and goal line in Mount Albert territory, out on that far side, Mount Albert's left, into the scrum it goes from uh, McLennan, the ball bouncing loose behind the scrum, and a couple of players diving for it, Clayton Friend catches Peter Kelly, the fullback for Mount Albert with it, but Mount Albert have possession, they take it around the short side, make a couple of metres before it's played again, back it comes to Fapulii, bursting his way, it's Rando Patel, back it goes to... Uh, the scrum half McLennan, he gets to within two metres of the 22 before he plays it there. Lindsay Hooker in at dummy half, runs square across the field, back to Dominic Clark, coming behind him on the angle, heading out towards the short side, but he's caught by Ian Bell. And Dominic Clark picks it up again from the play the ball, gets to two metres outside the quarter line. Mount Albert trying to work their way out of trouble. A long pass back to Peter Kelly. He kicks downfield, down the centre of the field, bouncing on the halfway. N Nicky Wright coming in for it, and Wayne Thompson. Who's going to pick it up? In fact, it's uh, Dean Bell that picks it up, sells a dummy, gets past uh, Cedric Lovett, but then loses the ball and is picked up by McLennan for Mount Albert. He runs up towards the halfway, in almost in centre field before he throws it behind him. It spills loose, but diving on the ball is John is uh, Tafa Iassini for Mount Albert. Out the short side, Mount Albert move it to uh, Dom Clark. Back it goes to Shane Cooper. Weave his way past Sonny Reffa. Still going. Penalties got Whistles gone. And a high tackle attempted on Shane Cooper. Just got caught around the neck. Slipped out of it. But Kevin Bailey stopped them and says penalty to Mount Albert. Ten metres inside the Manukau half. And just to the right of the post as they look downfield. And it'll be Glenn Townsend from standoff kicking for this touch. Townsend kicks and finds touch safely. Eight metres inside the quarter line of Manukau. Good afternoon, Graham Lowe. Welcome to the commentary. Thanks very much, Ian. Well, it's already looking at a very good game on field. Clayton Friend is getting very heavily involved in the game already, and uh, I think it's not, not going to be the predicted result everyone might have thought.
the thought by the by the look of it so far. Mount Albert then with possession, moving inside the quarter line, and uh, Lindsay Hooker will be at the play. The ball just 10 metres out from the uh, try line. Back it comes to McLennan. He throws a wild pass which bounces loose. Shane Cuba comes in to try and it's uh, John Acklin coming in to try and tidy it up, but he knocked it forward, and the referee says we'll have the scrum through two metres inside the quarter line of Manukau. So into the scrum, Clayton Friend, it's in the second row, waiting for it to come out now, Friend's got it, runs around the open side, sells a dummy, sets sail through the gap, past John Acklin, still going, diving at him is Cully, can't get to him, Clayton Friend, 10 metres inside the half, a great run by the Manukau scrum half, brilliant run before he's finally caught by the defence coming back, and Friend will play the ball, 12 metres, in centre field, inside the Mount Albert half, back it goes to Nick Wright, Nick Wright sends it on to two Thompson, Thompson makes two metres before he's caught by Cooper, Back it goes to Tracy McGregor, on to Ian Bell. Ian Bell pushes into a couple of the defenders before he finally falls over. Manukau moving it the, uh, midway between the quarter line and halfway in Mount Albert Territory. Back it comes to Sonny Reffer, but Reffer is caught. Ian Bell out the side to uh, Tawapapuliai, well held by Townsend. Nick Wright in the, the dummy half, always wanting to get into the action. Dean Bell puts a high kick up in the air, which is coming down midway, 22 and goal line. A couple of players, Rarui was one who jumped for it, but they all missed it. The ball went loose, and it's Manukau possession as uh, diving on it was Dirk McGregor. Dean Bell in at dummy half, out on this left touch for Manukau. Back it goes to Ian Bell. He makes a couple of metres. Shane Cooper has him, though, high around the chest. And Lindsay Hooker underneath, and they stop him. Just on the 22, Manukau on attack. McGregor, out it goes to Friend. Friend back to Sonny Reffer. He's caught. Two Thompson in it, dummy half. Back to Papuliai. Papuliai sends it on to Peter Reffer. He gets up to the 22, out in front of the right hand upright. Manukau still attacking, but he's caught there by Acklin. This side it comes now from Thompson to Papuliai, and he switches it to the short side to Ra, where he throws a wild pass over the head of Jim Wilson, the right wing for Manukau. They're right over by the far touchline, 10 metres inside the Mount Albert half, before they're pushed over the touchline, and the scrum will... Uh, I think at this stage, Manukau is looking very keen and willing to get on with the job. Into the scrum, it's won by Mount Albert, and out it comes to Townsend. He's held, but throws it behind with the Kelly coming up from fullback and support, calling for the ball. He's held by Rawiri. He plays it. Shane Cooper in at uh, dummy half, gets it, we weaves past a couple of players, and slips it on to uh, Iostini, who sprints through a gap and then is caught. But Mount Albert again, move it quickly. Out left to Lindsay Hooker. He's uh, now 10 metres outside the 22 of Manukau. Good attack from Mount Albert if they move it quickly. Waiting for it is uh, the winger, Chris Smitter, who's come in. He brings it out on this open side, then links up with Lindsay Hooker, throws it back to him on the short side, and Hooker gets to the 22 before he is caught by Terry Rawiri. He'll play it on the 22. They move it out on the open side. Clark out to Ackland. Ackland on to uh, Townsend, to McLennan. Back to uh, Townsend. Out it comes this side now to... Uh, Cedric Lovett it is, Lovett back to Kelly up from fullback leaning support, all of the Mount Albert team with it, across it goes to uh, Lindsay Hooker, the back inside to the winger Chris Smitter gets inside the 22 but they're just moving across field Mount Albert, out to Cooper, out on this open side again, out in front of the post on the 22 it goes to Brian McLennan and he's caught by Peter Reffer. Mount Albert, five tackles on them. Back it comes from the play, the ball to Ackland, to Don Clark, who puts the kick in the air. Going back is Dean Bell, midway 22 in goal line. He takes it well out this side, but he doesn't get anywhere. He's caught. Coming across quickly was Dean Williams, the second rower for Mount Albert, to put him down. But back from the play, the ball to Wayne Thompson, the left winger for Manukau, and he comes around on the short side, just a couple of metres out from the, from the uh, sideline, inside his own 22. They move it again inside their quarter, throwing it across field. It goes to Ian Bell for Manukau. He has to play it, though, still trapped inside his own quarter. Back it comes to two Thompson. He charges into the tackle of Cooper and uh, goes down in the tackle, back to Tracy McGregor, a long pass back to uh, Nick Wright, out in front of his post, and he kicks downfield, it bounces on the centre of the halfway, and it's Peter Kelly waiting for it, now he picks it up and sets off, running out on this side, his right, brings it up over the halfway before he's caught there by Sonny Reffer. Brian McLennan in that dummy half, on it goes to Townsend, out it goes to uh, Chris Mitter in from the wing, he sends it further on to Cedric Lovett, brings it back on this open side, throws it back to Lindsay Hooker, who knocks it on, five metres inside the Manukau half. Take a very close look at him, Phil. No score, ten minutes in the first half, into the scrum, straight out again. Whistle goes. 
bright sunny afternoon and we saw a most entertaining curtain raiser, Alisley 28, Lenora 12, and this match shaping up the same as into the scrummer goes and Friend has it for Manukau, pushes off his opposite McLennan, then goes around the short side, but he only makes another couple of metres before McLennan comes at him again, catches him. So it's McGregor in at dummy half, runs around on the open side, elects to go with the ball himself, and Dean Williams goes over the top and uh, Dominic Clark in underneath. They play the ball again, Manukau, out to two Thompson, but he's nicely tackled by uh, Tapa Iastini. Again, McGregor in at dummy half, back to Sonny Reffer. Reffer makes five metres before Fatal gets him. Again, again, McGregor in at, at dummy half to Nick Wright, who kicks for the far for the corner. His left right down on this grandstand side, but Mark Bourneville goes back to Mount Albert and sets off sail upfield. Beats Wayne Thompson, still going straight up the centre in centre field, heading towards the halfway. He's 10 metres inside the half before he's finally caught. Two or three Manukau players stood off him. And a great run from Bourneville, coming out from inside his own 22 to up almost to the halfway. Back it goes to Papuliai from the play the ball that he's held by Ian Bell. Out on the open side from Mount Albert, spinning it along the backs. A long pass bounces loose, looking for Cedric Lovett, and he beats the tackle of Wayne Thompson and beats another one, which is Peter Reffa, before Reffa finally gets hold of his jersey and flings him over the side. Shane Cooper out in the centre is very dangerous when the ball gets wide. Into the scrum, uh, Cedric, uh, Clayton Friend has it, throws a long pass, which... Uh, it goes loose and it's picked up by Nick Wright who beats the tackle of John Ackland and then bursts another five metres inside the Mount Albert half before he's caught. They move it quickly. Papulio at the friend on to two Thompson and he charges into the tackle of Dean Williams. Again, friend out on the open side, dumbing around with Ian Bell, taking the pass from just behind him and going further around on that open side, but they read it that Mount Albert and friend was caught. They move it, Manukau on this side, 10 metres inside the half. Ian, uh, uh, Peter Reffer it is, running to within 10 metres of the 22 before he's caught out there by Ackland. Tracy McGregor on the right to Ian Bell, to Dean Bell who straightens it and runs hard but he's caught 10 metres out from 22 and Dean Williams went down in that tackle of Dean Bell and hasn't got up yet, he looks hurt. Back to Peter Reffer for Manukau, inside the uh, half of Mount Albert, out to Papulii, an overlap for uh, Weary with uh, Wayne Thompson outside him, slips it on and Thompson will score for Manukau. Wayne Thompson runs around and scores two or three metres to the left of the left hand upright for Manukau to hit the front, four to nil over the Mount Albert Lions and a lot of pressure on Mount Albert, the gap go in front. Oh, that was very, very good play that one that they made down the right hand side there. Uh, that was very good work by the Manukau centres to finish off the play. So Wayne Thompson scores to open the scoring two points. Coming in now and kicks it, no problem at all. So it's Manukau six. Yes, a very good win for them last week. It hasn't quite got the pace they've got. They're quite capable of tearing aside the pieces. Let's see what they can do as play resumes with uh, Brian McKinnon taking the kick and Ian uh, son at Peter Refford is going back for it and Wayne Thompson as well. They make a bit of a mess of it, but eventually pick it up. Wayne Thompson does inside his own uh, try line area and brings it out to 10 metres from the line before he's held by Ackland. Playing the ball, Nick Wright in it, dummy half, to Ian Bell, who tries to slip past the tackle of Patel, but can't quite get past him, and he's caught 14 metres out from their try line, Manukau, moving it again on the short side, on it goes to two Thompson, he is caught by Cedric Lovett out there, Tracy McGregor, the hooker in it, dummy half, feeds it behind him, to uh, Sonny Reffer, he makes it up to the quarter line, and then from the play, the ball, it comes back to Nick Wright, who kicks downfield, Peter Kelly running back for it, inside his own half, bouncing down towards his 22, and across to this side, that's uh, Mount Albert's right, before it's finally picked up by Kelly, gives it back to Bourneville, who runs straight into Papulii and knocks him backwards, but Dean Bell comes in, gets a hand on the jersey of Bourneville, and flings him around and puts him on the, on the uh, grass, but it's up on the halfway, so that was another good run from Mark Bourneville, he's very strong, the right winger for Mount Albert. Mount Albert moving it, the centre of the field on halfway, back it comes to John Ackland from the play the ball, looking to link with Cooper, a lovely little flick pass from Cooper onto uh, McLennan to Townsend, now it comes back to look at Lindsay Hooker, moving it out this side, Dominic Clark links up with McLennan, he's inside the 22 by 4 metres before he's held there by Ra, where he picked up and thrown to the ground, gets up again, they play the ball, Mount Albert out it goes to uh, Townsend, on to Cooper, He's on the 22, looking for support, running back on this open side, sees a gap, going straight, he's within five metres of the try line, looking for support behind him, but he's held there by uh, Dirk McGregor, 
and can't get any closer. They move it out on this open side in front of the post, 20 metres out from the post. It's slipped back to Cedric Lovett. He's through and a try. Cedric Lovett for Mount Albert. Yes, well, that's, that started coming about 30 metres out because one or two of the Manukau players weren't going to the tackles, proper tackles, and, and uh, there's some very good lead-up work there by Shane Cooper. If it wasn't for Nick Wright's defence, Shane would have scored beside the post just a fraction earlier. Looked to be in a bit of trouble, early pressure for Manukau on the match. Been a bit one-sided, that's not going to be the case this afternoon, the way Manukau have been playing early on. So Cedric Lovett lining up the attempted conversion it's an easy one he's closer and just a three or four meters to the right of the right hand upright and nick wright bring a little bit more spark coming to the man over side in the next few minutes a long kick from right waiting for it is john ackland inside his 22 links up with bourneville another of those crashing runs from the big right winger but a lovely tackle on him by ian bell making no mistake and puts him on the grass on the 22 of mount albert almost in center field coming in to take it is uh, Tafa Iastini, that's uh, Dean Williams, and, but it spills loose as he's tackled and Manukau have possession. Ian Bell picking it up, 10 metres outside the quarter line of Mount Albert. It's two Thompson in a dummy half, runs around on the short side, tries to push off Lindsay Hooker, but he can't do so, and Tafa Iastini comes in the lend a hand to Hooker, and down goes uh, two Thompson. Tracy McGregor in a dummy half to Clayton Friend, trying to dodge past a couple of defenders, but can't do so, and he's caught two metres out from the quarter line. Manukau with position, McGregor out on the open side to Bell, on to Papuliai, slips it on to Dean Bell, he tries to go through a gap but it closes on him and uh, it's Townsend who goes around the ankles and puts Dean Bell, Manukau moving it on the open side, still moving to their right, out towards the terrace side, back to Papuliai but he's caught by Ackland and also uh, Townsend. Peter Reffer out to Ian Bell, a little kick through deep inside the 22, but it's taken out there by Chris Mitter, the left winger for Mount Albert. He brings it out on the open side, beats a couple of players, then runs straight into Dean Bell in the centre of the quarter line, Mount Albert territory, and Bell has a Mitter. Coming in to play the ball is uh, Iastini. He runs around on the short side, makes eight or nine metres before he's caught by Clayton Friend. Mount Albert with possession, 10 metres inside their own half in centre field. Back it goes from uh, Patau out to John Ackland. It was a very good tackle and ball and all tackle made there by the Manukau second half. So Mount Albert moving it out to Dom Clark who's got blood all over his face but it's mainly just a surface wound I think but certainly a lot of blood there as Mount Albert spin it on. On it goes now to uh, McLennan and then it goes on to Dean Williams. He's held but they play it quickly out on the open side to Shane Cooper. Shane Cooper looking for support behind him finds Rando Patau coming charging through and slips it to him. The ball goes loose and Manukau have possession. 10 metres inside the half in centre field. A long pass coming out to uh, Dirk McGregor. Spills loose behind him and a couple of players fighting for it. Ian Bell and also uh, John Ackland over there and I think it's Bell that's got it. He has. 10 metres inside his own half and 10 metres in from that far touch. That's the Manukau right. They spin it out on this open side out to their left. Back it comes to Tracy McGregor. He's held. 10 metres inside the half still. Just moving across the field, Manukau. Clayton Friend has it run square across the field and then passes it back to Sonny Reaper coming straight behind him, straightening up the attack, and he makes another two or three metres before he's caught by Brian McLennan. They play it. Back to Clayton Friend. Nowhere to go. Trying to run around the fringes of a couple of defenders. Can't get past them, though. One of them Clark and the other one McLennan, and they put him down. McGregor back to Nick Wright. He'll kick, and he kicks. Straight down the middle of the field, running back is Peter Kelly inside his 22. It's bouncing, bouncing down to the goal line inside the goal territory. He brings it out of there and straightens it up, gets past Rawiri, but he's caught by Wayne Thompson coming up for Manukau, the left winger, and Peter Kelly caught two metres inside his quarter line. Shane Cooper in a dummy half. Back to Cedric Lovett. He puts his head down and tries to go through a gap, but it doesn't, isn't there, and he's put down. He plays it quickly. Lindsay uh, Hooker feeds it on to Ackland. Ackland charges into Terry Ra where he makes 10 metres but then he goes down on the grass picking it up as Patel the big crop forward for Mount Albert he makes another 10 metres to 10 from the halfway Mount Albert bringing the ball almost out of their half out to Shane Cooper it comes throws it back across to uh, Iastini but he drops it knocked it on and the referee's whistle goes for the scrum 20 minutes into the first half and it's six all Mount Albert and Manukau taking some time to settle down. Well, we've just got a stoppage as uh, that blood I mentioned before, uh, Dominic Clark's, his right cheek from uh, his forehead and right cheek, right down the middle of his nose, that entire side of his face is 
covered in blood. It certainly looks pretty gruesome. He hasn't seemed to have troubled him much, but he's coming off. He is coming off, and obviously the St. John's man has had a look and said, well, look, you've got to have stitches in there, and you can't go on bleeding like that. So that's a blow for Mount Albert as Dominic Clark leaves the field, and uh, somebody else has come on in his place and gone down in the scrum. We'll pick it up in a moment as into the scrum it goes, and the whistle's gone against Clayton Friend for crooked feet. So Mount Albert will have a penalty. They're 10 metres inside their own half and 10 in from this touch, the grandstand side. That's their right side. There's the kick taken by uh, Peter Kelly. It was up from fullback. So Lindsay Hooker will take the tap. It's into touch three metres inside the Manukau half. So Mount Albert, after quite a period on, on defence, are now back on attack inside the half as the whistle goes with six all the score Mount Albert and Manukau six all the early points being scored by Manukau try by Wayne Thompson getting the overlap and Terry Rabwiri sending it on to him out on this left flank converted by Nick Wright six to nil after 13 minutes but back came the Mount Albert Lions a try to Cedric Lovett which he himself converted it was handy to the posts and uh, in the main game here we've had 22 minutes and it's six all scrum going down two metres inside the Mount Albert half almost in centre field, and it'll be fed by Clayton Friend for Manuka. He gets it, brings it around on this short side, his left, to Nick Wright coming up in support, weaving and almost gets past, and does get past, pushed off John Ackland. Peter Kelly comes in and bundles him into touch. Great little run by Wright. The John Ackland was hanging off, expecting Wright to perhaps put a little kick through. He was having three metres inside the 22 of Mount Albert. That's where McLennan has the feed into the scrum, waiting for it at the back of the scrum, and the referee says, break up. So just straightening them up. Once the tidy scrum it goes in, it's kicked straight out again, whistle's gone again. And uh, Mr. Bailey jumping in, having a talk to the two front rows. So again, into the scrum, it comes back on the Manukau side. Friend gets it out to Papuliai, running around in support as Wayne Thompson in from left wing, trying to find a gap, but it wasn't there. And he was well tackled by uh, Ackland, but also McLennan, Shane Cooper it was. Manukau move it, on the 22, on attack, out to Nick Wright, on to Rawiri, out to Dean Bell, can he break past Cedric Lovett, he does, still going, then trips and it falls, three metres inside the 22, he'll play it right out on that right side for Manukau, out towards the terraces, moving it quickly again, back to Jim Wilson, in from the right wing, he makes four metres before they have to play it again, back to Rawiri, to uh, Reffa, on to Ian Bell, not making any ground though, Two metres inside the 22, but they've moved out in front of the post now to McGregor. Moving it right towards that far corner. Out it goes to Riff on to Dean Bell. Sells a dummy, but it wasn't taken. Wasn't bought by Shane Cooper. And uh, down he went. Dean Bell playing it. That's five. What will they do? Back to Riff it is. He puts a kick high. McGregor, Dirk McGregor, puts a kick high in the air. Racing them to get it is Peter Kelly. Jumps high and takes it well. Five metres out from his line. That's where he'll play it. Matt Albert moving it, McLennan bringing it around on the short side, gets to four metres from the 22 before they play it out there. It was Chris Mitter in from the wing, in fact. Back to Patel, the big front row forward, and he charges into his opposite, Dirk McGregor, before he plays it to Iostini, brings it outside the quarter line to midway, quarter line and halfway. Matt Albert moving the ball away from their try line, getting themselves back into an attacking position. Again, from the play of the ball, they move it onto Iostini. Brings it out on the open side, but he's caught there by McGregor from Lindsay Hooker. A long pass back to Townsend, and he kicks deep downfield. Bounces inside the 22, out to this uh, right as Mount Albert attack. Wayne Thompson, the left wing for Manukau, goes back. Runs square across the field towards his post. Changes his mind and comes back on the short side, and uh, eventually gets caught midway between the 22 and the goal line in Manukau territory, and that's where Thompson will play it. It's picked up by Dean Bell. He runs around on the open side, but he's well caught by Ackland and Cooper. Two metres inside the 22 of Manukau. Back to Riffa. On it goes to Friend. Friend to Papuliai. Puts a little kick through and takes it beautifully. Over the 22 he goes. And uh, Chris Mitter comes in from the left wing for Mount Albert and catches Papuliai. Ten metres inside the half of Manukau. Rawuri in a dummy half to Friend. Friend on the bell. Out it goes to the right winger. And that is Jim Wilson. He gets to the halfway before he's caught out there by his opposite Chris Mitter. Manukau moving it again. Back to Peter Riffa. Behind him it goes to Tracy McGregor. He makes four metres before he's caught by Shane Cooper. But Manukau now inside Mount Albert's half by three or four metres. 
They move it back again to Nick Wright, and he kicks the touch, and I think it'll go into touch on the full. It does. So that's where the scrum will go down from where Nicky Wright kicked it, and just about on halfway. Half a metre inside the Mount Albert half. Too many cornflakes here. Too many cornflakes, Graham. Yes, it was well over the touch line. Into the scrum. McLennan for Mount Albert. And a penalty against uh, Clayton Friend for coming around too quickly and diving on McLennan before the ball had been cleared of the scrum. And so the penalty taken by Peter Kelly up and full back for Mount Albert on the halfway line. He's about 15 or 16 metres in from that terrace touch. That's his left touch. And he'll kick up into the terraces. Bounces in the front row of them. And it went across the touch line, eight metres outside the 22 of Manukau. So another attacking opportunity for Mount Albert. Six all is the score. We've had 27 minutes in the first half. And the whistle on his two balls on the field. Lindsay Hooker then will take the tap. Let's see what Mount Albert do. Taps it to Patel and a big charge straight up the centre. But Tracy McGregor was waiting for him. The hooker for Manukau went straight round the legs and brought him down. But they're inside the 22. Hooker takes it back to John Ackland. He charges straight again. But again it was uh, Dirk McGregor and uh, Sonny Reffer who came in to take him. The Lindsay Hooker at dummy half. Flicks it back to Tuffa Iostini. Bringing it out on the open side Mount Albert with each of these moves. And now they're out in front of the posts at only 15 metres from the posts. Lindsay Hooker again in the dummy half to McLennan. He sells a dummy to the right, then straightens and heads towards the post, but Nick Wright's having none of that, and nor is Ian Bell, and the two Kiwis go over the top. They play it again to uh, Mount Albert out on this side to Townsend. Back to Shane Kubu, who swings back on the left side again and heads towards the posts, but doesn't make a lot of ground. Dirk McGregor has him, and Lindsay Hooker out on this side, and uh, the bomb kick from Townsend. It's coming down right underneath the post. Nick Wright waiting for it. Takes it safely, though, does Nick Wright, and he'll be forced down on the ground by the Mount Albert players coming through on attack. Lindsay Hooker, one of them, and uh, so it'll be a dropout from underneath the post for Manukau. It was a serve try, Nick saved there. Great take by Nick Wright. Took it so comfortably. So there's the dropout. Kicks it straight down the middle of the park. It's bouncing loose. And now in comes Peter Kelly, the pullback from Mount Albert. Picks it up. Sets off sail. It sets sail upfield. Gets to the 22. For he's held by Tracy McGregor and Sonny Ripper. They play at Mount Albert. Moving it again to uh, Iostini. Iostini beats one man. Tries to push off Clayton Friend. But Friend comes at him again and tackles him around the legs this time instead of trying to go high. But they're now 12 metres out from the line. The try line are Mount Albert. Back to McLennan. On the side it goes to Williams. Williams trying to work his way past the defence of uh, Peter Reffer. But he can't get through. And the ball went loose. It was picked up by Peter Reffer. But there was... And it's Clayton Friend to feed the ball. Freed the scrum. Comes out on his side. Just came straight out though. Whistle's gone again. 30 minutes in the first half. Six all. Manukau and Mount Albert. And this time Friend gets it out to Rawari. On it goes to Dean Bell. Tries to get past Cedric Lovett, but a good low tackle from Lovett holds him up. Bell plays it back to Rawari. Pushes off the tempered tackle by Shane Cooper. Bursts away. Looking for to try and link with uh, Dean Bell, but he can't. The ball goes loose, and I think it's Lindsay Hooker that's dived on it for Mount Albert. It is, he plays it, Shane Cooper in a dummy half, out the side to Ackland, on it goes to a town's end, out to Cedric Lovett, he's tackled by Papuliai though, 10 metres outside the quarter line of Manukau, moving across to this right side, now going back on the left from the play, the ball is town's end, he gets to 2 metres from the quarter line, out in line with the right hand upright, Mount Albert with possession, Ackland back to Iostini, he makes 2 metres, throws the ball behind him, it rolls loose but it's picked up by Ackland, he flicks it back to town's end, out to... Uh, Cedric Lovett, back it comes to McLennan, weaving his way, trying to get past uh, Toa Papuliai. Well, he makes four metres, but then he's caught by Papuliai. They're three metres inside the 22, in front of the posts, not making much ground. Mount Albert trying to pierce a hole in the defence of Manukau, can't find one. Lindsay Hooker plays the ball in front of the right hand upright, back to Ackland. Here's the bomb kick now. What will Nick Wright do? Getting across to get to it, and leaps high and takes it well, and as he does... It's, uh, McLe it's Townsend coming through, jumping at Nick Wright, and he's penalised. Great take by, the, by Wright again. Another great catch, indeed, by Nicky Wright. Very safe under that high ball, and no success with that manoeuvre for Mount Albert, and Nick Wright, from the penalty, kicks the touch and finds it three metres outside the quarter line. Wayne Thompson with the tap. So it's still six all. We've had over 30 minutes in this first half in the Tallyrad $1,000 match.
and real opposition for Mount Albert. They've brought all their big guns out today to face Manukau and they're being held the six all at the moment as Manukau moved the ball across towards the centre of the field. It goes from Reffer. On it goes to two Thompson. He's caught. Tracy McGregor in a dummy half. Back to Clayton Friend. On the open side to Dean Bell. Linking up with Ian Bell, but nowhere to go as he's caught by Cooper. Then he links, throws it behind him, and it's taken there by two Thompson. He throws it further out to Clayton Friend. It's not Clayton Friend buried. It's Terry Rawuri. He plays the ball. Tracy McGregor. Back it goes to Sonny Retra on the two Thompson. Makes another one metre before he's caught out there by the replacement who's come on, and that's Jeff Ackland on the field for Dominic Clark. And Manukau with possession back to Papuliai. He's caught by Hooker on the halfway line. Six all. Tr Clayton Friend back to Nick Wright and he kicks again. High. Shielding his eyes from the sun as Peter Kelly he comes in and takes it well though and sets sail from his own quarter line up the centre. He's caught by Clayton Friend. Grabs hold of his shirt collar and pulls him over. That's where he'll play it. Townsend out to Cooper. On it goes to uh, the replacement, Jeff Ackland, I think it was, out there. On to Cooper, back to John Ackland. Ackland trying to link up with the left wing, Chris Mitter, but he can't do so, and he elects to go down in the tackle of uh, Tracy McGregor. Shane Cooper to Rando Patel, charging towards the halfway. Gets to a metre from the halfway before he's tackled by Dirk McGregor. Mount Albert with possession. Lindsay Hooker playing it from the play the ball. Out it goes along the line to Cedric Lovett, trying to break his way through. Can't do so, though. And they play it again, Mount Albert out to uh, Townsend, McLennan. Just now Townsend has it, jinking his way past Dirk McGregor, slips it on to Jeff Ackland, charges up to 10 metres outside the quarter line of Manukau, centre field, that's where he's caught. Clayton Friend is having a bit of a tussle, a couple of little punches thrown in that tackle before they move it again, Mount Albert. The kick ahead by John Ackland out on that left side. Nicky Wright's across there, though, takes it, pushes, tries to push off Shane Cooper, but he can't do it. The ball spilled loose, and I think Cooper may have grabbed the ball. He has. That's what the cheer was from, for from the Mount Albert supporters, as Mount Albert have possession in a very handy attacking posi position. Townsend around on that short side, out on the left. Durando Patel sets sail again up towards the line, crashing into the tackle of Sonny Reffer, but he holds him well. Out on this open side, Mount Albert spin it to McLennan. Back to Jeff Ackman towards the post he charges before he's held by Dirk McGregor. Mount Albert hot on attack, out this side to Townsend. Back to uh, John Ackman. He sends it on to Iostini, out to Shane Cooper, dodging and weaving and in pass to Hooker. No, a forward pass. Well, the referee's brought them back as Hooker was across underneath the posts. The referee must have ruled forward pass. And Shane Cooper speaking to referee Kevin Bailey. The scrum goes down. Six metres from the try line of Manukau. Clayton Friend will feed it. Tracy McGregor must win it for Manukau in this position. 34 minutes in the first half. Mount Albert 6, Manukau 6. Clayton Friend then once the referee's happy with the scrum, puts it in, and it's won by Mount Albert. Out on this side, it comes to Townsend to Cooper, but he's well held by his opposite, Terry Ra Wherry, who was up on him very quickly, and so was Papulio over the top. And so that's where he'll play it. Back to Townsend, on the short side, on this right side here, uh, goes to Dean Williams. He's within two metres of the line before he's held round one ankle by Ra Wherry. They move it again. Jeff Ackman out on the open side. That's their left. A long pass out to Kelly up from fullback. Nowhere to go, though. Three players on him. Tracy McGregor, Dirk McGregor there, and another one underneath him on his back, and that's Sonny Reffer. They move it again to Shane Cooper, heading towards the line. He's just a metre short, diving for the line, and they push him back. Three or four of the black and white jerseys of Manukau hold him out. Mount Albert desperately on attack now. A little kick through, but it's picked up by Tracy McGregor. And he races, picks up the loose ball and races 10 metres from his line. Well, uh, Manukau a little lucky. Desperate defence from them, and then a loose ball, and that enabled them to get away, and they move it out to Dean Bell, and he's away, through a gap, over the 22. Peter Kelly's coming across to try and get him. Great tackle, Kelly, on the halfway line, just two metres from this touch line, and that's where Kelly caught the Kiwi winger playing centre for Manukau today, and Manukau still with possession, though, and Dean Bell's hurt, and they're moving it out in midfield, are uh, in the centre of the field on the halfway are Manukau. Back to Nick Wright, weaving past a couple of players. He's caught by Jeff Ackman, throws a pass behind him, and Peter Reffer gets it, but he's held. Ten metres inside Mount Albert's half. It's fast and furious, and it's still six all, 35 minutes in the first half. Back to Peter Reffer, the sunny Reffer. Ten metres inside the Mount Albert half in centre field. Manukau with possession. Out on the right it goes to two Thompson. He crashes into Jeff Ackman, but can't get past his good tackle around the ankles. Down he goes. 
Rawuri in a dummy half to Clayton Friend on the short side. That's the right over on the terrace side to Dirk McGregor. Makes four or five metres, held by John Ackland and also Jeff Ackland, his brother. Manukau with possession, move right across the field. Right along the line it goes to Toa Papuliai and he almost got through a gap before he stumbled and fell and the whistle's gone. Tried to uh, play the ball off the ground and uh, it's Mount Albert with possession from the penalty and they move it quickly to Mount Albert. Bring it up to the halfway, two metres inside the half and that's where Glenn Townsend under two black jerseys, it is Glenn Townsend, gets up and plays it. Long pass out to Patel, but he drops it, took his eyes off the ball, and Clayton Friend swoops on it for Manukau and grabs the ball 10 metres inside Mount Albert's half. Manukau back on attack now. Out it goes to Peter Reffer. He sidesteps his way past two players, ankle tap from behind by Shane Cooper and falls on the 22. Out in front of the posts, they play at Manukau. Out the side to Clayton Friend, to Papuliai, on to right, right. Up in support from fullback, throws a long pass across on this side. It bounces off the hands of Bourneville and comes back to right. Right runs across in the centre of the field and links up with Clayton Friend. Still on the 22. He makes two metres inside the 22 before he's caught. Manukau with it. On the right it goes to Papuliai to two. Thompson straight into the tackle of fine tackle by uh, Townsend. The standoff. Manukau moving it from the play of the ball to Papulia. Out on that right side, a long pass out to Rawiri. Can he link up with his wing? Wilson, no he can't as he goes down in the tackle of uh, Cedric Lovett. Manukau then move it left again out on this open side. Out it goes to Sonny Reffer. He makes four metres, decides to go down in the tackle. And he's only ten metres out from the try line of Mount Albert now. Manukau on attack. Papulia out on the open side to Friend. A long pass out to Bell. On it goes to right. Right to Dean Bell. What can he do? Can he break through? He does. Break through Cedric Lovett heading for the try line and dives as he's short. I think he might be about a centimetre short as he's held by Mark Bourneville around the legs. Great run by Dean Bell, very nearly through. It's a scrum. Well, lucky for Mount Albert, that was close, Graham Lowe. Yes, Dean just knocked the ball on as he tried to force it down. There was a great jink and run, but uh, is getting the injection that they need when Nick Wright comes into the back line, but it's trying some great attack So Lindsay Hooker's a right into the scrum and he uh, won the ball for Mount Albert and uh, McClendon comes around on the open side and it goes down to the tackle of Clayton Friend. From the play of the ball they move it back to uh, John Acton. He brings it further around on that open side. Just going across field. That's where he's held by Ian Bell. And again they move the ball with Dean Williams from the play of the ball coming around on this short side. That's Mount Albert's right heading towards us gets outside the 22 before he's caught. And they play it again, Mount Albert. Working the ball outside their own quarter line by three metres from Lindsay Hooker at the play of the ball back to uh, McLennan. And McLennan to John Ackland, but over the top of him goes Sonny Reffer and also Wayne Thompson, the left winger. Rando Patel in for the play of the ball. Back it goes to Kelly and he kicks down this touch. Bounces 15 metres inside Manukau's half and back for it is Tracy McGregor, their hooker, and he runs with not a lot of purpose up towards halfway and uh, goes down happily in the tackle of John Ackland. Clayton Friend, the dummy half, runs around the open side, pushes up the tackle of uh, Iostini before he's finally caught by McLennan over the top. And uh, Peter Reffer on to Papuliai to two Thompson, the crash man for Manukau, but again not making any, any ground, and uh, Mount Albert certainly reading that play to, to Thompson. He hasn't been able to find any gaps at all so far. Ten metres inside the Mount Albert half. Manukau have possession. Peter Reffer on the right side, out on the open side, makes a couple of metres and then slips the ball on to eye, but he's caught by Patel. But now they're only three metres outside the 22. Manukau on attack, out on this open side to Friend. On it goes to Bell. A long pass is missed by Wayne Thompson. A long pass out to Thompson. Bell unbeaten in five games in the second round in fact unbeaten in the season but that's five thousand dollars they've won so far Manukau trying to get a, th a piece of it themselves it's into the scrum it goes it's one for Mount Albert on it goes to um, Townsend then to Bourneville draws the defence slips the ball on to little Brian McKinnon coming around puts a kick ahead bouncing down the centre of the field back goes Thompson for Manukau out in front of his post by 12 metres picks the ball up and the hooter as you would have heard has gone for half time and with the end of that play that is half time Six points all, Manukau and Mount Albert, an exciting match here at Carlow Park with Wayne Thompson opening the scoring for Manukau. And uh, coming back on the field now, the two teams with the Rockets. 
six all, Manukau and Mount Albert. Very entertaining first half. A lot of pressure coming from both teams, but the defence holding, apart from those two tries, Wayne Thompson for Manukau after 13 minutes, and Cedric Lovett replying three minutes later for the Mount Albert Lions. Game, I don't just rant and rave, and uh, I think that it'll be very interesting to see what comes in the second half. Second half underway. Peter Kelly kicking it down to the quarter line. It's taken by Peter Reffer, and he's running at top and runs straight into the tackle of Williams and also Rando Patel. He's 10 metres outside his quarter line. Manukau move it to Two Thompson. Two Thompson brushes through half, half through a tackle, but then goes down in the tackle of Ackland. Manukau with possession. Back goes to Dirk McGregor, not making any grounds, taking the tackle of Ackland, and also Patel again. Tracy McGregor to Papuliai on the short side and they move it back on this open side. That's their right side, Manukau, towards the grandstand and uh, running around with it is Ian Bell that he's held by Lindsay Hooker and Jeff Ackland. Nick Wright in at dummy half, takes it and will kick, a little kick through, chases after it. It's bouncing in the middle of the halfway. Will he pick it up again? He had to slow to pick it up, but he still broke away from the attempted tackle of uh, one of the defenders and then whipped it on to Papuliai. Manukau move it out to Bell. On it goes to Wayne Thompson. He races up towards the 22. Can't get past Bourneville. Flips it back to Bell, and he's caught a metre inside the 22, right over by that far touch line. The terrace side, Manukau's left, and they move it quickly. A high kick, a good start for Manukau. This is Peter Reefer puts it in the air. It went a bit far, though, and Kelly was able to come in and take it 15 metres from his line in front of his posts but he's caught there Mount Albert with position Shane Cooper back it goes to Iostini he races up runs hard up to the 22 Lindsay Hooker in at dummy half on it goes to Townsend back to Shane Cooper McLennan it was to Shane Cooper he's caught on the 22 Mount Albert playing from right to left in the second half as we watch them they have possession. Back to Ackland. Dummies past one player. Tries to push off uh, Clayton Friend coming at him. Gets his uh, hand, the palm, under his chin, does Friend, but then pulls him down. So Mount Albert still with it. Shane Cooper throws a dummy, then back to Ackland. Out it goes to Jeff Ackland. The long pass out to the centres, linking up with Cedric Lovett. He can't get past the tackle of Dirk McGregor around his ankles. Ten metres inside their half, Mount Albert in centre field. Out to Shane Cooper on the right. The open side. Throws a pass behind him. It's picked up out there and then spills loose and comes back to Iostini. And he kicks the touch and it'll go into touch on the full. And the scrum will go down ten metres inside Mount Albert's half. Mount Albert having the foot in Clayton Friend into the scrum, but it's one for by Lindsay Hooker for Mount Albert, and out on this open side it comes to Townsend, and he's caught by Peter Reefer, breaking off the back of the scrum and coming across and dumping him very hard. Mount Albert, back to Jeff Ackland, straightens up as he comes around from the play, the ball, and runs into the tackle of Ian Bell, but he's in the middle of the halfway now. Shane Kubo, dummy half, back to Patel, runs hard and straight and breaks through the tackle of Two Thompson before he's caught by Ian Bell. Jeff Ackland, the dummy half, out on the right to Shane Cooper, who's standing in the middle of the half, and a little kick put through by John Ackland. The ball bounces loose. Nobody can get their hands through it as Wayne Thompson comes in. I thought he may have knocked it on, but he didn't, and Dean Bell dives on it. So Manukau have possession. Ten metres out from their half, and it's Tracy McGregor running it from dummy half. Four metres forward before he's caught by John Ackland. Back it comes to Papuliai, breaks past John Ackland, but then is caught by Jeff Ackland, but gets to within 10 metres of the halfway in Manukau territory. They have possession. Back to Clayton Friend. On it goes to Ian Bell. Links with the outsides and comes back to Bell again through Dean Bell. Weaves past a couple of players. Runs straight ahead. Puts a kick down to the 22. Can he pick it up? He does. Racing towards the goal post, but he's caught by the cover. Great play by Dean Bell. Yes, Cedric Lovett coming across and took him well, but Manukau moving it quickly out to Papuliai, back to Nick Wright, into with the play, straightens towards the post, he's caught, throws a long pass out to Rawuri, out inside the 22, and he heads towards the line, will he get there, he does! Great Terry Rawuri, breaking past the tackle of Lindsay Hooker. I'm sure Dean's having a fine game, and those, those two, two guys are two of the best players on the field at this stage, at this stage. but Terry Rawuri, he does he just showed then he had a good fend as well, but um, into uh, rivalry and um, uh, Troy was the result. So Nick Wright, to see if he can convert from wide out, comes in. I think it'll just go to the left. He kicked it pretty well, but it just went to the left with the left hand upright. So Mount Albert, now what can the unbeaten side Mount Albert do in this second half? Ten to six. 
Kelly uh, McLennan that is brings it up to take the kick off kicks deep over the head of Nick Wright runs back gets a hand to it and then has to chase it into his the goal area picks it up and then sets off upfield and runs straight into the tackle of Dean Williams five meters inside the 22 Nick Wright will play the ball there McGregor in at dummy half behind him to Reffa Reffa gets throws it behind him it's picked up by Wright a long pass linking it with the backs to Papuliai from Wright he works his way past a couple of players picks it on the end bell to Rawiri a long pass out to Thompson if he had taken it he had uh, open spaces in front of him a couple of defenders uh, could have come across and cut him off but that would have been a long way downfield but he knocked it down knocked it behind him couldn't take the pass so Manukau still inside their 22 that's where they play the ball Back to Dirk McGregor, Clayton Friend in a dummy half, uh, back comes to Reffa, Reffa charging straight at Lindsay Hooker and pushes them back three or four metres before they all fall over, ten metres outside the 22, a straight pass back to Nick Wright and he left puts it downfield, waiting straight underneath it is Kelly though, Kelly runs forward, Clayton Friend comes at him and Kelly makes three or four metres inside the half before he's caught. So Kelly will play it for Mount Albert. Back to Williams, behind him to Hooker. Hooker makes another four or five metres, puts his head down, crashes into the tackle with uh, little Clayton Fred over the top and Reffa underneath. Mount Albert with possession, out it goes to McLennan. Behind him to Estini, he throws it back to McLennan. McLennan out on this side, linking with his standoff Townsend. Weaves past one attempt at tackle, looks behind him, on to Hooker. Hooker heading for the line, whistles gone, forward pass. Oh, Hooker was away for Mount Albert. Well, when uh, Manukau scored in the first half after 13 minutes, it was only three minutes later that back came Mount Albert, and I thought for a moment we had the same again. Manukau leading the program. Did you? There were a couple no. of Mount Albert players waving across towards their reserves bench here. I think one of their players, well, they've got one or two players there that are in a fairly distressed state at this stage. They've been working very hard, but no one looks too badly hurt. The penalty taken then by Wright, and uh, he's put it into touch a couple of metres inside the half, and now they set up a move, and back it comes to uh, the Reffa. Reffa has out. Side. And he's a very jinky little player and he's always been an underrated player. He's not he's not over for And the Mount Albert cheer girls at the far end stand in silence. Look back at the scoreboard, 14 points to six. Manukau leading Mount Albert. See if Nick Wright can convert and put the gap out to 10 points. Placed it on the 22, and it's about six meters in from that far touch. In comes right now. Looks good from our angle, now it's away. It's missed, it's gone to the left, to the left hand upright. He strikes it so nicely, Nick Wright. Down to what they can do when they're under pressure on the scoreboard, something they haven't been very much at all this season. The long kickoff taken. Mount Manukau bring it outside their 22, and the, there's a replacement on the field for them. Pick up that in a moment. It's Sonny Tuwai who's come on. One of their forwards off. As uh, Manukau move the ball from the play, the ball back from Tracy McGregor to Toa Papuliai, and he's halfway between the quarter line and halfway in Manukau territory before he's caught. Now they play the ball again to Clayton Friend, to Sonny Ripper. He'll play it. Again, midway 22 and halfway, and back to Nick Wright, and he kicks for the gap, bouncing downfield, Kelly coming across, and uh, also going back is Chris Mitter, the wing, and he brings it outside the 22, he's caught in a good tackle, but throws it behind to Kelly, the ball slips loose, and Manukau dive on it, and uh, in fact, the ball came loose and bounced off one of the Manukau players, and going in from the wing was Jim Wilson to pick it up, but he was in front of the player that knocked it forward, and a penalty's gone to Mount Albert for offside. So Mount Albert will clear from a couple of metres outside their 22. It's taken by McLennan. Safety in the touch. 10 metres inside their half, Mount Albert. They're down by 14 points to six. Lindsay Hooker taps it. Out it goes to Dean Williams. But he's caught. Eight metres inside the half. Taps it to himself and runs forward. Tries to fend off a play and then throws a wild ball, which is picked up by Manukau. Out it goes to Peter Reffa. He runs at Shane Cooper, draws him, then slips it to Tafapuliai, and uh, Cooper 
comes across and gets for Pulia as well and puts him down. 10 metres inside the Mount Albert half. Manukau with possession. Sunny Tuai, the replacement, comes around on the open side, makes a couple of metres. He's caught by Cooper and Lindsay Hooker. Tracy McGregor in a dummy half. Out to friend on the short side. That's on the left towards the terraces on the far side. To Ian Bell it goes. He turns and throws it back to Clayton Friend who's dodging and weaving past a couple of players. Beats another one. Heading towards that left hand corner. Shane Cooper's doing the same thing with his, his blokes, but unfortunately for Man Albert, Manukau seems to be just a little bit more positive today, and they're hitting the ball just that hard, bit harder. But I think overall, Ian, the, uh, the telling story is the error count. In the first half, there was 11 errors made by Man Albert to six by Manukau, and already at this stage is none by Man uh, Manukau, and, and Man Albert have made two errors, errors, one of them resulting in a try. And the conversion of it looked like getting near the post, so the conversion has missed, and it's Manukau 18, now the centre of halfway kicks off. Again, a long one, waiting for it down there is uh, Peter Reffer, he's taking off his headband, I think it's Peter Reffer, brings it up, no, it's Jim Wilson, the winger. He brings it up to the 22, gets a metre outside the 22, and that's where he's caught, Tracy McGregor, back it goes to Reffer, Reffer is caught, throws it behind him again to Sonny Tuai, he can't make any room though but uh, Manukau really throwing everything into it and Mount Albert having to tackle everything that moves in black because Ma Manukau well on top of the match 18 points to 6 in front the play the ball is 10 metres outside the 22 of Manukau back to Nick Wright and he kicks again out this side waiting for it is Chris Mitter the left wing for Ma Mount Albert 10 metres inside his half beats Jim Wilson's attempt to at tackle Wilson diving through the air at him but he slipped around him and then was caught by uh, Wayne Thompson in from the far wing. Back to Rando Patel for Mount Albert. He's eight metres inside the half before he's caught inside Manukau's half. Back to Lindsay Hooker. Nowhere for him to go except straight into the tackle of Sonny Tuai. Hooker, back to Patel. Patel sells a dummy on the open side and goes around there, caught by Reffer. That's both Reffer, Sonny and Peter. Hooker, out it goes to McLennan, back to Acklin, John Acklin. Sells a dummy on the open side, twirls around, is caught by Tracy McGregor, but they've made a few more yeah, metres have uh, Mount Albert, and they're just outside the 22. Back it comes to McLennan. McLennan puts a kick downfield, but it'll roll over the try line, over the dead ball line, and it's a kick on the 22 for Manukau. Called for the good crowd that's here this afternoon when that sun disappears, and they take the tap on the 22 to Manukau, and uh, Sonny Tuai brings it out. Outside the 22, they play the ball, move it again on this open side. Back to uh, goes, two I. 10 metres in from touch and 5 metres outside the 22 of Manukau. That's where they'll play the ball. They play it again out on the open side and back it goes to Peter Reffer. He gets to 10 metres outside the 22 again, but again not making much ground Manukau. Out to Clayton Fred, this time to Dean Bell. Jinx his way past the tackle of Dean Williams, then whips it on to Clayton Fred. Almost through a gap before he's caught by McLennan. Desperate dive, 5 metres inside the half. Manukau with, with the ball inside their own half. Back to Nick Wright. Looks around and then kicks deep downfield. Racing back is Chris Mitter. It'll bounce right down to the... Will it get to the try line? It does. Now Chris Mitter picks it up and brings it out up towards the 22. Pushes off a weak tackle from Jim Wilson. Puts a, a shoulder or a big hip into Sonny Tuai. Knocks him off. Makes another 10 or 15 metres before Peter Reffer comes across the third tackler for Manukau and finally puts Chris Mitter down. They're up almost to the halfway. Rando Patel runs straight at Sonny Reffer and charges inside the half, but a good tackle by Reffer. Mount Albert, from the play the ball again, across it goes to Tapa Iastini, can't get past Ian Bell though, Bell has him 10 metres inside the Manukau half in centre field, Williams comes in at the play the ball, on it goes to McLennan, out to Cooper, McLennan runs around and sends it on to Lovett, but that was set up for a fine cover defence tackle from Manukau, and they watched Lovett 
take the ball in, two of them crashed into him, one of them Dean Williams, Mount Albert, move it again out on this open side to Cooper, sells the dummy and then races around over towards the right again, back towards the terraces, uh, still going out in that direction is Cedric Lovett, straightens up now, but dumped in a tackle as he headed across towards the try line, then straightened up and crashed over the sideline by Tower Papuliai. Six. Into the scrum. Who's got it? Clayton Friend has it now. Runs around the open side to Papuliai. Then Friend comes around behind him and uh, takes it again. Throws a wild pass out to the centre zone. The ball bounces loose. And it's uh, Cedric Lovett for, Manic for Mount Albert that dives on the ball. They play the ball quickly, Mount Albert. Back to Jeff Ackland. He gets up to within a metre of the 22 of Manukau before he's caught. Out towards this left side of the field for Mount Albert. They play the ball. Chris Mitter runs around on the short side again, still moving left before he's held up. Now they swing it out in the open side, Mount Albert. Out it goes to Townsend, doubling around, takes it again off McLennan, and then it gives it to Ackland. He's caught just inside the 22. Centre field, back to Williams. He runs towards the post, but he's held by uh, Dirk McGregor. Mount Albert again, out in front of the post. Here's the bomb kick from John Ackland. Who's going to get under this? Dean Bell takes it well, falls over inside his uh, try line area, and uh, is held there as he slipped. And so it'll be a dropout from underneath the post for Manukau. Very good uh, defence again from Manukau then. Uh, Mount Over Mount Albert. It's high, coming down just inside the half in centre field. Kelly is underneath it, the Mount Albert fullback. Now he sets off up the field. Sells a dummy, goes through a gap. Oh, he's just ankle tapped as he raced through inside the 22. And Peter Reffer stretched out a hand, just ankle tapped him. That could have been dangerous, only Nick Wright to beat. Although that would have been hard as uh, Mount Albert move it again, throw it out on this left side, slipping it on to, trying to slip it on to Chris Mitter was uh, John Ackland, but he couldn't find him. So they have to play it inside the 22. And they move it quickly, Lindsay Hooker, out it goes to Townsend. Townsend sends it on to Cedric Lovett, coming back on the angle behind him towards the post again, but he's held up by this tight Manukau defence, three of them there, Sonny Reffer, Nick Wright, was there and also Tracy McGregor. Mount Albert again inside the 22, trying a quick move with a couple of uh, dummies and a switch of play and it goes to John Eklund and he dives for the line and scores. 10 metres to the left of the left hand upright. Mount Albert, have they scored? Uh, no, they haven't scored. He was caught just short and must have lost the ball. Well, I thought he had scored. The referee pointed but then ran out towards uh, the 22 and so it wasn't a try for Mount Albert and Manukau dived on the loose ball and they've got it now. Moving across towards the other side of the ground, Wayne Thompson has it for them. Very confident play then by Manukau, they have three passes inside their own and goal area, you've got to be a confident side to do that. Wayne Thompson bringing it outside the 22 for Manukau after that desperate defence from them, clearing it away from their own line. Out it comes to Clayton Friend, on it goes to Reffer, Peter Reffer. He's five metres outside the 22 before he's caught by uh, Shane Cooper and Rando Patel. Long pass back to Nick Wright. Again, this long kick from him straight down the centre, but Kelly is there, the fullback for Mount Albert, brings it up towards halfway, waiting for him is Dean Bell and a Clayton friend, and they put him on the grass a metre inside the half of Mount Albert. Chris Mitter in from the wing at dummy half, runs around on the short side, his left over towards this uh, grandstand touchline, makes a few metres, stopped five metres inside the half. Cedric Lovett out to uh, Townsend, to McLennan, on to Cooper. Cooper back to Iostini, who's out there in the centres. Out to Cooper. Cooper running straight across field, gives it to Bourneville the right wing. He comes back the other way on the halfway line, back from the terrace, and then he finds there's nowhere to go, and three of the defenders have him. Wilson, uh, uh, Ian Bell is one, Dirk McGregor another, as Mount Albert now decide to play the ball. Back to Patel, and he charges into the tackle of Tracy McGregor, but it's a good tackle round the legs. The ball spills loose. Knocked on by Patel as he got up to play it, and the scrum will go down 10 metres inside the Manukau half, and uh, uh, Mount Albert trying everything, but not succeeding, Graham, and they're down by 18 to 6 as the last quarter of the game is about to begin. Yes, it's the errors that are letting them down. Every time they uh, mount a good attack, uh, the errors let them down. It's, again, they've got four areas of errors in this half to, to uh, Manukau's none, and that's the story of the game. Into the scrum and Clayton Friend gets it and breaks around the short side. He makes 25, 30 metres before he's finally brought down by Mark Bourneville but another great run down that terrace touch by Clayton Friend down Manukau's left touch and Wayne Thompson picks it up from the play the ball and runs around the open side and he makes 6 or 7 metres and gets almost up to the 22. Manukau back on attack out to Peter Reffer and he comes out on the open side square across the field and as he tries to straighten up he's well tackled by Iostini. Manukau 
out to Fapuliai, 10 metres outside the quarter line, centre field, switches it back and runs around to the left, but again can't get through that yellow and blue wall of the Manukau defenders, John Ackland, and underneath him, Tracy McGregor, back to Nick Wright, and here's a drop kick from Wright, which looks good, plenty of time, and it just 